Daybreak, and we are celebrating Western New York this morning, and we are also celebrating uh, the newest exhibits at the National Comedy Center in Jamestown. And Daybreak's Kevin O'Neill is here to tell us more, and there's really kind of something for everyone, this everyone of all ages. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, so let's talk about what's new at the National Comedy Center in Jamestown. It's a lot of laughs. Take a look. The National Comedy Center in Jamestown continues to thrive and continues to evolve, adding new exhibits every few months as comedy itself evolves. Over 50 side-splitting exhibits are here. You'll laugh so much here, it's not even funny. This is an attraction where people are laughing, they're having fun, they're having an experience of connection between generations and the comedy they consume and love. Mm -hmm. And at the National Comedy Center in Jamestown, you feel like you have your finger on the pulse of what's happening in the art form of comedy right now. That's Journey Gunderson, executive director. Over the past year, the National Comedy Center has recreated Carolines on Broadway, perhaps the most famous comedy club in the world. It donated signage furniture and its iconic backdrop to the museum. Also new within the center's theater, a hilarious show dedicated to pivotal 60s and 70s TV comedy Laugh-In. And you meet the brains behind it, producer George Schlatter. Who gave starts to folks like Lily Tomlin and Goldie Hawn in that show. Um, it's really one of the foundational um, sketch comedies. Yet before Sonny and Cher and before Saturday Night Live, there was Laugh-In. The exhibit I spent the most time in was the Comedy Continuum, a 60-foot interactive wall. He's one of the guys who's coming up real fast. He's really great. Jerry Seinfeld, all right? Here we go. This is about tracing the lineage of comedy, making connections between different artists and generations, uh, connections of collaboration and influence in the art form. And while you're exploring who has worked with whom, you're also able to uh, trigger video clips showing some of the greatest comedy scenes of all time. 37,000 square feet, and it's okay for families. You will all laugh together. They have a separate blue room with adult content, and you have to ride an elevator to get there. Just 75 minutes from Buffalo and worth the trip, nationally renowned. The website is comedycenter.org. And you know, alcohol makes everything funnier. So uh, they have uh, beer and wine and uh, canned what cocktails about NA? as well. That's right. And well, a cocktails? Yeah, they have water. There's a water fountain there, too. <laughs> uh, so, and, and again, the website, comedycenter.org. And, and again, you could bring the kids because it's you know, largely family friendly. And then there's a separate area. Uh, for the uh, the blue the blue room the blue comedy. Are they doing the anything stuff. for the Smothers Brothers? You know, as Tommy just passed. Yeah, they they have. As a matter of fact, they had the the both Smothers Brothers were there, and they're going to have stuff. And, and when when you when you see a legend of comedy pass away, unfortunately, you know, like Betty White passed yeah. away. They had stuff relating to her. Um, so yeah, they and uh, Carl Reiner, of course, is a wonderful room for him. A very pivotal person in comedy. Yeah. Uh, so we, when when we unfortunately lose somebody. Uh, they they tend to you know this is this is the place this is the national yeah. center for yeah. comedy and we're lucky enough to have it in Lucille Ball's hometown. Awesome. All right. Thank, Thank you, guys. sir. Time now to set.